space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Orion, its ongoing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Ladies and gentlemen, Chaos Wolf here, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Now, it has been an absolutely hectic week since uh, my ship, my uh, Dimeback Explorer, exploded whilst I was 20,000 light years uh, out of civilized space. I was en route to Sagittarius A when uh, disaster struck. Partly my own fault, because I was AFK. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> um, my ship detonated in a star. So, um, what I did was uh, jump straight back in the saddle in my uh, anaconda here, uh, which I've named Wolf's Den, and I went hell for leather straight towards Sagittarius A. Now, I am pretty much there right now. I've already actually been to Sagittarius A because uh, I was actually having to keep up with uh, Commander Dark Widow, who was actually reaching Sagittarius A after a 24 hour live stream. Uh, but we've actually managed to meet up in uh, Sagittarius A and we have some pictures which I will show you in a little bit. But uh, here we are in uh, the center, well, close to the center of the galaxy and just look at how different uh, space looks here. I mean from the core you will not see this really bright um, kind of light pollution and not only that but you can see that the uh, what looks like the core is actually all the way around us because we're actually in the center of it and so there's just so much ambient light here it's ridiculous i mean this looks so different to how it looks back in uh, habitable space it's just amazing watching the the transitions from uh, standard black space to this kind of uh, brownie red coloured space. But anyway, let's jump back into the cockpit and you can see that we actually have uh, Sagittarius A targeted. But before we jump in, let's actually just have a look at how far I've travelled in uh, six days. So here we are now, that's where I've actually got uh, selected. And uh, this is where we are at present. So that's where we are. That's where we're going. And that down there is actually Commander Dark Widow. He's uh, already started his route back. He's uh, currently traveling along the Neutron Road. Uh, which is basically just a massive plane of neutron stars stretching all the way back. Well, a lot of the way back towards civilized space. So hopefully he's going to be making a lot of money after this. But let's actually go and have a look at Wolf 906. Because this is where I actually started my trip from. And here we go. This is 25,861 light years away from where I started. So you can see me all the way over there. And if we zoom all the way out, we can see the difference here. Where I started, where I am now. Commander Dark Widow, and who is this? I have a feeling this, I know who this is. Let's find out. Right, here we go. Who is this? So, info. Oh, it's Commander, Frustr uh, Commander Frustration Ensues. <laughs> Seems like he's come out exploring as well. I think he did actually say something, but I probably forgot. But yes, now as you can see, Commander Dark Widow has actually dropped down 
a good distance below the core, so he's going to be getting some very interesting footage from where he is now. But anyway, without further ado, let's actually go and jump into Sagittarius A and actually have a look at uh, this super massive black hole. So we'll charge the frameshift drives and we'll go and see what's on the other side. Because this has been a long term, a long time dream of mine is to actually come and see Sagittarius A. And now both me and uh, Commander Dark Widow have actually been here. And we were here at the same time, but I'll show you the pictures just after we've actually been uh, been into the system. go on just look at that just jumping in so that's 65 light seconds away and you can already see the lensing effect from this uh, from this black hole so let's set ourselves on a sideways course to this uh, let's set ourselves there and let's actually jump out of the cockpit so we can actually see Sagittarius A. Now, little known fact, Sagittarius A is actually one of the very few black holes to actually generate any significant amounts of heat at the moment. And just look at that lensing effect. What we're going to do in a moment is get a little bit closer. So, yeah, that is an amazing sight. You can just see... Let's actually rotate the camera this way. You can actually see all the stars actually rotating around. That's kind of really interesting. So let's uh, turn around and actually get a little closer. As you can see, my heat is actually going up significantly. So I am going to go in and turn off a bunch of my things. So let's turn off the shield generator as well and the fuel scoop so there we go we seem to have actually dropped our heat down a little bit so we're now 43.9 light seconds away from this black hole let's get a little bit closer until my heat starts going up again so we're on 72 we were over 80 at one point I really don't want to end up exploding around here so let's get to about 40 let's try that and just look at the effects on there wow so what I'm gonna do is I am actually gonna go and jump out of super cruise so hopefully my heat yeah my heat's gonna go down now just look at that, that is amazing. But it is not actually the only uh, planetary body, well not planetary body, the uh, astronomical object in this uh, system. We actually do also have a B-class star over here. And both of these, as you can see, were actually first discovered by Zulu Romeo. So that's actually kind of cool that he actually got these. Now, I don't know how long ago this was actually discovered, because I think the names, if I remember rightly, getting your first discovered by tag on the uh, planetary bodies, or astronomical bodies, I should say, I think that was implemented back in 1.1. So that was the f after the first time I ever went out exploring. But yeah, that is kind of cool. So again, let's have a look outside and see if we can get any interesting screenshots. Now, I really don't want to get too much closer to this thing because I don't know how close we can get before the ship explodes. And I really don't want to have that happen again. Um, because uh, I had this brought home to me again that black holes can be a bit deadly, although uh, turned out that it wasn't a black hole at the end. But what happened is I was actually watching a live stream by um, Commander Obsidian Ant. And what happened is uh, he was in a planetary nebula with a black hole. 
and he actually sadly he his ship detonated his um, asp explorer exploded after three months out in the deep void so i i couldn't help but feel my heart hit the floor just watching that happen so i've been there i know how painful that is just losing all that uh, exploration data but he's uh, not he's not taking it lying down he's getting back up again and he is going out and exploring again but yes this is pretty much sagittarius a and this is an absolutely amazing looking uh i well it's just it's just absolutely beautiful now what we're going to try and do is select the uh the black hole turn away from it and see what it looks like when we actually jump into super cruise because sometimes you can actually see really interesting uh sights when this happens so let's uh, charge up. We'll drop a heat sink just to make sure that we stay cool. Now let's see if we actually see some interesting effects. No, it doesn't look like we do this time. But either way, this is the end of my... Oh, wait a sec. There we go. I think we can actually start seeing... There we go. That's actually the, the lensing effects from Sagittarius A, so that is kind of cool. Just seeing the... Uh, just seeing everything moving really weirdly. But let's get away from Sagittarius A. Uh, because what we are actually going to be doing is now that I'm basically going to go and retrace my steps. Because let's have a look back at the galaxy map again. Because what happened is when I exploded, I was somewhere over here, just coming into the core. And uh, off over in this direction somewhere is Planet Bob. <laughs> now, if you don't remember, Planet Bob was actually an Earth-like planet that I've managed to find. It's in episode one of my Jack of Diamonds uh, exploration series. So if you haven't seen it already, go and check that out. And uh, what it is, is it's an Earth-like planet, but it has uh, a ring system, or two ring systems, I can't quite remember, but they were high, uh, high, uh, high metal content uh, rings, so metal-rich rings. Uh, the Earth planet was uh, pretty much twice the size of well, two Earth masses. And it was a really, really beautiful find. It's very, very rare to find Earth-likes with, um, with ring systems. So I think it was somewhere around this area. Well, it was somewhere around here. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come back over this way. I have the... Uh, some rough estimates of where planet Bob is so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna move back over this way and we're actually going to go and hunt for him again but not only that there are another few uh, things that I want to go and have a look for there was a ver basically an undiscovered black hole that I was the first to find and there were four more uh, Earth-like planets that I found, so I'm going to be having a look for them as well, not to mention a few neutron stars. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Now unfortunately, uh, in the grand scheme of things, my basically my side of um, the Jack of Diamonds mission actually failed horribly. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Commander Dark Widow gets the moral victory here, but um, what's going to happen now is uh, there's going to be no more episodes from me of uh, Jack of Diamonds. What I'm going to be uh, doing is uh, saving a Planet Bob episodes instead, basically just searching for Planet Bob and everything else that I found on the way. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go have a look at those pictures of me and Commander Dark Widow 
at Sagittarius A and a few more pictures of uh, my trip here because as I said I didn't get much of a chance to actually do any recording because I was rushing hell for leather to Sagittarius A. Now we are a fair distance away from Sag A now so we're going to just have a turn around and have one last look at this system well at this black hole before we leave. Now from this distance you really can't see much of it you can still see a little bit of the gravita gravitational distortion, but nowhere near as much as when we were up close and personal with it. But anyway guys, I am uh, going to leave you with some pictures of me and Commander Dark Widow at uh, Sagittarius A and the few pictures that I had uh, taken on the way here. So. If you have liked this video, short as it is, and basically all it is is me prattling on about Sagittarius A and what I'm planning to do, but even so, if you've enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button, it really does help my channel out. And uh, if you haven't already, join the Wolfpack by hitting that big subscribe button. You'll get notifications from whenever I release new videos, like my uh, Saving Planet Bob videos. And... Uh, Remember, Commanders, until next time, keep flying and stay shiny.